How can we remember north, south, east and west? I'm glad you asked. With a compass there's no problem. You simply wait until that needle stops swinging and then you know that one end points towards the north. So rotate the dial until the N coincides with the needle and then you can read off south, west and east. That's easy. If you're looking at nothing but the sun going across the sky, there's a simple rule that you can remember that helps you to sort out the compass directions. Here's what you do. You wait until the sun goes down. You know as well as I do that the sun always sets in the west. And so you face the west and then you know that your right hand will point towards the north. Always. Always works. Tell you what, I have some cards here. Let's check them out and see if they're accurate. Here's one. We'll line it up so that the W points towards the west. That's where the sun goes down. N, that's where my right hand is, that's north. So that one's accurate. How about this one? Try it again. Line it up so the W points towards the west, right hand points towards the north. That one's okay too. What about this one? Now we just worked out that north is up that way, and yet it has east pointing towards the west. It seems as if it's no good at all. Should we throw it away? No, because in fact that card is accurate somewhere on earth. Can you work out where? Well, no, it isn't the equator, and it isn't the North Pole, and it isn't the South Pole. But it's somewhere in your house and somewhere in my house. Where? Well, think about it. If we turn that upside down and stick it on the ceiling, now the W pointing towards west, where the sun goes down, gives us N for north, where my right hand is pointing. And so it's accurate there. Why don't you make one and put it on the ceiling in your bedroom?